the double cup method of seed studying hello everybody welcome to seven savings garden where we talk about gardening ways to save money and other special events so today we're going to be talking about the double cup method of seed studying uh so we have two cups right here so we're going to make our double cup method which is uh, a cup that's going to be inside another cup and it's going to be able to self um water or self feed the uh the other cup with uh with the solution of of water or whatever uh fertilizer or whatever you put in there so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make holes a couple of holes on this okay so i just i just made a couple of holes on this so they are one two three four five holes you can do like do it like this or you can do the holes on the side like that any of any of them should be fine um you can do the side or you can do the, the bottom like that that's fine uh, once you, ha you just want to make sure it has the holes have enough uh, space for it to have some drainage and for it to be able to pull in water from the bottom so let's uh so let's go to the next step which is we're gonna put our sea study mix into this container so now i filled up i filled up the uh our container as you see uh, so you, you just want to you don't want to compact it too much but you just want to make sure it's nice and full and then you want to make a hole like that so depending on how many you want to plant usually i plant a couple but um this time i'm just gonna plant one so just make it a, a, a little hole like this i say quarter inch depending on the instructions on your seed packet uh, i'm gonna plant the tomatoes you can plant pepper and other stuff uh, i'm just gonna plant tomatoes so i'm just gonna put uh, a seed in there i'm gonna put my seed right here i'm gonna put the seed in there like that and just close it and now all i have to do is water it just 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 i uh, just put some water like in there like that and water it and the water is gonna go down and settle down there um so now what I do is um, there's some, some water in here. Uh, I'm just gonna put leave it there, but or you can just uh, add more water. But right now what we're gonna do is just put it put it chosen like that. So you add the uh, the other cup to the bottom of it and put it in a nice warm area. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna be feeding uh, watering the system this system right now. We're gonna be watering it on top until the roots of the uh, until the roots of the uh, tomatoes come out down here or the roots of whatever plant you're growing once the roots come uh, come out towards the bottom or have grown towards the bottom then you can start feeding it from this cup so you want to make sure that this the seeds germinate and the roots go down a little bit more before you start uh, feeding it only from here for now we're just gonna keep feeding it on top okay so i'm just gonna put it in a warm area um if you want you can use the plastic or something to cover it but you can also put it in a warm area and it should grow okay one week after um it's been almost a week about six days uh the seeds um germinated and it's coming out now so we just gonna keep watering it just you just want to put a little bit of water on top to water it and uh, just let it grow uh, we'll give it another week or two uh, before we can uh, start our process of feeding it from the bottom okay about two weeks after the uh, after we planted this this is how it looks now it's doing well it's doing great um, so what the next step I'm, I'm gonna do is uh, what I usually do is I'll just get a uh, you can get a little pebble like this or a rock or something that's gonna uh, give a little bit of space between the bottom cup and the top cup so here as you see we have our it's a solution in there i'm gonna add more solution but what i'm gonna do is just add a little pebble in there like that just one should be fine and then i'm gonna add my solution uh solution it can be regular water it can it can be uh um hydroponic solution or it can be organic fertilizer anything that you want to put in there you can put and just i'll just add it in there like that I know the roots have not come out yet but they should still be able to take some water in so i just all i do now is just i added some my solution in there so what i do is gonna be in there like that and that's gonna 
provided some little bit of space between uh, the bottom and the top for for it to hold a little bit more water and also for the roots to be able to come out and be able to absorb more water uh, or more uh, solution that we have in there but it's something easy that you can uh, you can do and you don't have to worry about watering uh, your your plants every day or every couple of days because it has enough water to last at least um, six days or a week depending on how hot the temperature is in either the greenhouse or wherever you have your seed starting uh, containers okay a couple of days later uh, about four days ago uh, I shot the last video and this is what it looks like it's doing well the leaves are much better and it's growing uh, the solution I put in some solution yesterday let's see and we have a solution in there so the uh, this the solution lasts about three four days um, before you can before I can add add more to it so uh, like I said it all depends on the temperature and how much uh, the uh, the plant consumes then you just have to every uh, about th three or four days you just need to uh, just add more water instead of every day okay that's it um, hope you like the video if you like the video please give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to the channel please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to share thank you and have a fabulous day